what Christmas means to me. So Christmas to me is all about um, the, the birth of Jesus um, and him coming into the world to, to eventually die for our sins. What I like about it is about, it's about spending time with family, spending time with friends, getting together um, and seeing the joy that we, we have with one another, which I suppose is going to be especially poignant this year considering we've not had an awful lot of time to spend together with um, lots of friends and lots of family. So this year, um, I suppose I'm particularly looking towards having five days that we can um, make bubbles and share some time, to, special time together. Okay. What, what my favourite bit of Christmas is actually after the run-up to Christmas is actually all over. So the actual Christmas Day itself is my favourite bit. So all the commercialisation is finished and all the run-up and all the tinsel and everything and all the secular stuff is all finished and you can actually just get down to just enjoying yourself with your, with your family. So hopefully, hopefully this year we can actually do that. Christmas and what is its true meaning? For me, it's togetherness. It's repatriation. It's a season of goodwill and it's a time for families that get back together um, that mother-in-law that you just never really got along with, you think, I'm going to make an effort this year, I'm going to get along with her. I visualise around Christmas time, the snow on the ground, uh, it's a family get-together, a family dinner, um, fairy lights, I visualise uh, us all around the table, uh, having far too much to eat and drink, and people lying asleep after that. My childhood memories of Christmas uh, are... Uh, waiting for Santa to arrive, uh, Christmas stockings getting filled, presents under the tree, um, going out my sledge. I even think back to my days when I did my paper round knee-deep in snow at Christmas time and getting tips from everyone as well. I think the magic of Christmas is centred around children and a lot of that is down to the belief in Santa. These days, Christmas has become a huge commercial event and I think the true meaning of it has been lost in all but a few of us. It's a time for giving and also a time for receiving. And let's face it, folks, who doesn't like to get Christmas gifts? Uh, but ask yourself this question. Could there be a greater gift you could ever be given than the gift of eternal life? And as the slogan on the jumper says, I don't mean this jumper, by the way. Jesus is the reason for the season. Have a great Christmas, folks. I'd imagine it'll be no surprise to hear me say that Christmas is a time of family celebration and celebration of a birth, a very special birth. Both happy events and both full of sentiment and a, a warm, cosy feeling. Uh, but what I'd like to do just now is to share with you uh, an event, an experience that gave me a a whole new perspective on the rather childlike sentimentality with which we often endow the story of Jesus' birth. It was when I first read T.S. Eliot's poem, The Journey of the Magi. Now this, as you may well know, is an imagined account of the experience of one of the wise men pondering his visit to see the infant Jesus many, many years previously and how it has subsequently affected his life. The journey is described in all its uncomfortable detail. Uh, foul weather, being ripped off for accommodation, feeling homesick. And then, in the final section, he comes to reflect on the significance of what he saw and how something old died in him and something new but as yet undefinable was born. So here is the last section of the journey of the Magi. And the final line is absolutely stunning. All this was a long time ago, I remember, and I would do it again, but set down this. Set down this. Were we led all that way for birth or death? There was a birth, certainly. We had evidence and no doubt. I had seen birth and death, but had thought they were different. This birth was hard and bitter agony for us. Like death, our death. We return to our places, these kingdoms, but no longer at ease here in the old dispensation with an alien people clutching their gods. 
I should be glad of another death.